save for you. Right, let me just stick a, a torch there and see what we're like for doing it up here. I'm, and I'd not decided I was going to be live until I got here. So I'm going to wait for some people to come on and hopefully we'll be able to uh, have a chat. The only problem I've got is I've got to hold this. I could do with something to rest this on. So I hope people are okay. We're going to have a bit of a look round in here in a bit. I've got Bear with me as well. I am in a tiny, tiny little abandoned cottage in the north of England and it is a bit spooky, but there's only really one room that I've looked in. The rest might just be totally empty, but this room has got enough in here to make it worthwhile being in here. So I'm going to get my other phone on the go. I might actually just go and get a chair from in there. I need to bring the torch with me, don't I? So I can sit a bit closer to somewhere I can I can balance stuff. Hi, Heather. Hi, Bonbon. Hi, Jenna. Just give me two seconds to get myself sorted. Oh, there's a chair here. That's brilliant. Um, I also want to try and shut Bear in this room with me. Go on, Bear. Because if anyone comes, I don't want him legging it and biting their heads off while I'm live with you. So just give me two minutes. Right, shut this door. I think I might have been in this place before a long time ago, but I'm not sure, but there seems to be a lot of stuff in here if I haven't. Let's have a look. It's a... Uh... <laughs> right, I'm going to get my other phone on the go so I can see you, your comments. So just give me a, a second while I sort myself out. Oh, is that better? Is that better? And I'm going to stay stay here for a while and we can have a look round as well together. Just need to let me know if the sound's all right. It's obviously not going to be perfect because you sat on a mantelpiece and I'm sat on a chair. So you're going to have to tell me how good it is. Um, right, let me just get this up and sorted. And then I can start saying hello to people because I feel like I'm missing loads of people at the moment. I'm just going to jump on on the second account, I think. Uh, there we go, and I can search finders, beepers, bear, you having a good look round? You seem to be. Right, I've got chat up at last. Um, hi Matt, where's your father been? What? What do you mean where's my father been? <laughs> what does that even mean? I'm confused. I might just have to replace this though, because you're a bit low down. That's better. Right. Yeah, Bear is here and I will show you around. Let's see what's in. Uh, sounds good. That is good. Right. I'm just going to angle you slightly further down. That's better. Oh, you need to show up. Also, I don't know how good the internet is. Um, the old guy. Andy is certainly not my dad. And if you don't know where Andy is, you've not been watching. So you need to go and find out um kind of blurry yeah it is on here as well i didn't know what the internet was going to be like i'm hoping it will pick up slightly I, I am sorry there's not much i can do about it this is why people always say oh why don't you do lives in abandoned buildings this is why because you can never tell what the internet's going to be like uh, sounds good but blurry yeah what i might do is show you around, have a bit of a chat with you anyway, have a conversation with you, show you around, see if I can get you to see anything. If you can't, I might just film a little video here as well for like say a Tuesday, because uh, I can't help the internet, it is what it is, it, it, it's not my fault. Um, Neil, if you don't know who the old guy is, then, oh, Andy's actually on and commenting. Hello, Andrew. Hope you're good. Andy, I think we've been here before. I think I've been in this place before. You need to give me all your pins. Um, see, he's not dead. He's, I've not stolen all his money off him. Um, he's not... What else? Bear, what are you doing? Um, he's not... All, there's all sorts of things, but... <laughs> And he's not in jail. No, it's because I've put that I'm in HMP Pentonville. That's why people are saying, oh, is he in jail? I've put that as, as the location that I'm at. So, um, Lisa, who's <laughs> Andy? 
<laughs> oh dear. I am sorry if the picture's not great. Like I said, this is the reason, 100%, I don't do lives in abandoned buildings just because of this. And this is a tiny, tiny place. And he's on a burner phone in jail. Yeah, he's hit up his bum. <laughs> um, yeah, I just wanted to come on because like, I came to this place. I had a feeling I might have been here before, but I wasn't 100% sure. Um, I'm going to film it anyway because there's loads and loads of photos over there. Um, but I thought, you know what? Why not do a live for an hour or so uh, and have a chat with you guys and then probably do it as well. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, me and Andy think exactly the same because he's just written what I've just said. Um, but one second. Okay, I'm new. Oh no, fair enough, Neil. I'm only taking the mic anyway. I think I've cut my leg. Yeah, I have. I've cut my leg on a toilet. I'm sure I cut my leg on a toilet when I was here before. Maybe I have. Uh, you want to see Bear? He's currently hiding behind something. Right, I'm going to give you a quick show round of just this room. Um, and Andy, if you're still on. Can you please tell me if we've been here before? Because I think we have. One sec. Right. Oh, dear. Because I feel like we sat on this settee and did some shout-outs to somebody. Me and Andy. The only problem is I can't see comments now. Uh, but there's absolutely loads of photos over there. There's photos on there. I recognise those two. That's what is familiar about it. Those two people stick out in my mind. And look, yeah, I've just, I've just cut my leg on a toilet. So yeah, I definitely think I've been here before, but I just thought it'd be a good opportunity to do a live. Um, anyway, let me just turn this round. There we go. Do, do, do. Yeah, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna show you properly yet because, because why should I? <laughs> But yeah, I do feel like I've been here before. I do definitely feel like I've been here before. Um, didn't I get some spooky thing? Though there's some, there's also a thing up to the attic. I seem to remember that there's stuff up there as well. So I'm not sure, I'm not sure. Hi, Anne. Um, yeah, my legs are just covered in scars. It is literally just scars all over. If you saw the, around my ankles especially, where um, brambles get sort of stuck. It even looks familiar to you and you're new. You can't even remember, know Andy's name, but, <laughs> but it's familiar to you. Either that or it's just like everybody in the world's Nanan's house. That's what it reminds you of because it's very much like a Nanan's house. Was it the place where there was an orb or something? Yes. Yes, I think it was, Andy. I think you're right. I think it was. I seem to remember. Yeah, there were big thing went across the screen and like went up and then went at a really odd angle i think it is um it's i don't want to I'll, I'll text you and tell you where it is in a minute but um hi sharon let's have a look uh, i've heard this man <laughs> way too many times um those photos reminded you of coronation street maybe could be although i haven't watched coronation street for years but um uh, i know this house sort in an epic Paranormal there. So this is, I, it was a bit spooky. So I thought, you know what? I'll just stay here and do a live for a bit. So I thought, am I gonna, shall I do a Tuesday video here? And then everybody goes, we've already been here. Or shall I make something out of it? So I might do a bit of both. I might still do a bit of an explore. Um, so, but yeah, this is, this is great. I'm glad Andy's on because one, it shows we haven't fallen out. There was never any bad feeling between us. There was no, like dodginess going off in the background um it is exactly what we've said it is i just people just like to cause trouble you know and we've had so many people recently uh that are just trying to stir stuff and it's just stupid do you know what i mean it puts pressure on our friendship it puts pressure on me and it puts pressure on him and it's not good so but anyway don't want to go on um andy back please while well, you want him to scratch you back no, at the end of the day, you don't put pressure on him to come back because at the end of the day, he's made a decision that wasn't an easy decision. Anyway, I don't want to go on about this for hours and hours. I don't want this to be the main topic of conversation um, because we all love Andy. We definitely do. And I understand why people want him back, but you've got to respect him. Um, 
Unrelated, love the Italy videos. Oh, I cannot wait for you to see episode two, three, and four. Three and four especially are so good. Like, I, I don't think... Even the house in Cornwall, I don't think I was as scared as I was there. So good. So, so good. Yes, I'm sure this place was spooky. I think it was, and now I'm here by myself, which is even better. Um, just a minute, I'm just going to message Andy and see what he says, if it's the same place. Um... Uh, um, I can't even think where I am. Wait a minute. Let's have a look. Uh, uh. Right, I'm just going to message you, Andy. Uh. Spelled that wrong. You need to do it again. Right. Have a look. See what you think. Um. Yeah, the, the behind-the-scenes videos... Oh, the first one was really good, I thought, from Italy. And the series is probably the best, one of the best things I've ever done. I, I really, really enjoyed doing it. I really enjoyed doing it. Um, Andy, yes, it is. It is um, a bungalow. It's, it is a bungalow. I think I'm 100% sure. And I'm sure I cut my leg on the toilet last time I came. I, I'm pretty sure I did. And I've done exactly the same. Um but uh, let's have a look. Matt, just get back down here to Cornwall. Yes, I'm going to do some more. I thought I could see some out of my eye, but I think it's torch. Um, yeah, 100%, I'm pretty sure we've done it. Um, yeah, I'm going to do the south of England at some point soon. Um, I'm also probably going to head back up Scotland at some point. Um, it's just fine and looking, but this is the main problem at the moment. Did you see that then? Did anybody see that then? I saw that on camera then. I wasn't looking di and directly at it. There's nothing flying about. <laughs> Bizarre. Bizarre. Um, oh, is Tokyo in as well? There, you're licking my leg. You're licking my cut on my leg. Um... One sec. Looks like someone's behind me. It's my shadow. Look. It's a big fat man. <laughs> um, yeah, I want to do... I want to do... Some downside. I want to do some UK stuff. But I've got lots on at the moment. Like, I'm going to France. One sec. Uh, do uh, I'll catch up with that in a minute. Someone's just sent me a message. Um, yeah, I I want to do some UK stuff, but one, it's a bit harder at the moment. Two, I'm struggling because I keep going to the places I've already been because Andy has the list of locations, so I could do with getting that off him, finding out where I've already been. And then I, because a lot of people that are trying to give me locations, we did them two years ago and everybody else is now catching up on them. So it's a bit awkward. Um, is Matt being haunted? Possibly. You never know, do you? So. <laughs> oh, hi, cat. Glad you managed to get into the live. But yeah, I will. I will try and get some more UK stuff because I want to do it. It's not that I don't want to do it. I haven't just gone. Oh, I need to go to Europe now. There's two reasons behind it. One, there's not been a good enough good stuff in the UK. Um, and two, I'm not coming anywhere near your house, Lisa. So stop trying to entice me in. Um, and two, I do want to go to Europe and I do want to see places that nobody else has done or maybe places that I've wanted to do for a long time because I've seen other people do them. So, but yeah. Well, what the hell's going off in that door frame? Well, the door's shut. So if there's something going off in the door frame, I don't really know why. So you want to come up? Come here then. Just a minute. Let me get this fat mess. Oh, you need to turn around because I'm going to hurt you. He's ah, here, look. Fat boy. And bear's here as well. <laughs> oh, dear. Uh, hi, Matt. I'm late. Where are, am I? I'm in the northeast of England at the moment. Oh, my God. What's happening here? Bear, you are not going to stay on my knee very long. What are you doing? What are you doing, bear boy? All right, going down again now. Um, let's have a look. Um... Justice for Bear? Why? What are you on about, Tokyo, you freak? Um, so, a couple of things. 
first, if I think there's been a bit of confusion about the book. So I mentioned about a book um, that there's going to be loads of stuff in. You can get tickets to win it on our website. There are five, that is it, five pounds. So that's like what, six, seven dollars. And that gets you it posted to your house if you win it as well. Um, I think it cost about 12 quid. It's going to be full of stuff um, from all the trips that I do. So get on to findersbeepers.co.uk slash shop and you can get the tickets. Um, we will have a bit of a look round in here, but I don't know whether it's worth it purely because if your if the signal's not great, I don't know if it's going to be going to be good. But I'd like to talk to you anyway. Um, Macam or Geordie? I think it, it's classed as Yorkshire. I think it's just North Yorkshire, but I'm not hundred percent sure. Um, hi Elizabeth, Miss Vit. Glad to see um, some new people in. My own, I saw a reflection of my own eye then. I thought there were an eye behind me, but it's my own eye. <laughs> oh, dear. Um, you're fuzzy like a ghost, but we can make out the beard. Yeah, I know. The internet's not very good. And this is why people always say, why don't you do more lives from places like this? Because if the internet's not good, there's not much I can do. Have I got the new drone? Yes. So if you watched the... There's been a bit of confusion about the drone, to be fair. Because people were like, why have you got a drone? You said that you got it stolen. It was a sep a different Italy Italy <laughs> Italy trip. So I went to Italy in February and I've been in March. So I've been twice. Um so I lost it, I had it stolen in February, and then you wonderful, wonderful subscribers helped me get another one in time for going away again. So I have got some drone footage. Actually, probably not as much as I would have liked. Um, but there was just, there was all sorts of stuff going on. Um, yes, I know the picture is a little ropey. Andrew, there's nothing I can do. It's, why is why are you Andy telling me the picture? There's nothing I can do. You know better than anyone what it's like for internet in these places. It's terrible. Um, let's have a look. Near the door. That was weird. Why do people keep saying something about the door? Is is this just one of these, like, you've got a spider on your head kind of things where people are like, oh, there's a spider, oh, there's someone behind you. You do it to me all the time. <laughs> um, let's have a look. Damn crap creeping up on you from behind. Crap. Well, there's just a, like a flying turd into the back of my head. <laughs> oh, dear. Better now. Yeah, it's going to come and go. You know what it's like. For some reason, the internet on this phone was loads better than that one, but the sound on that one's loads better than this one. Orbs behind me. See, I can't see anything now. I did a minute ago. I saw a big one over here go across, but I can't now. Um, I'm drawn to the door. Why is everybody drawn? To is it because it's just a bit dark and a bit creepy looking? Is that why everybody's looking at the door? And it is... Slightly ajar. Where's Bear gone? Bear? 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 Bear's dead. We need to go and find Bear because he's disappeared. He must have got out the door. <laughs> Bear? Why is he not? Why does he do this sometimes? He's disappeared and I don't know where he is. Bear, are you dead? No, you've sneaked through this little tiny gap, haven't you? Come on. Fat boy. Go on. Right. Stay there. I'll shut the door for you. Bear will not protect me. Bear is a big wimp. Bear boy. He'll end up laying on his back in a minute. Bear boy. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? You want to go up there? No, you're not having a look round. Right, I'll have a look round again. Have a look at some of these photos. I don't think you're going to be able to see them very well. But we'll have a look and see what we can see. I definitely recognise that fella there. That fella. I don't recognise her, though. She's like something out of Harry Potter. What is this? What a weird photo that is. I don't know what that is. It looks like a giant engine of some sort. What are you doing now? What are you doing? Such a naughty boy. Oh, what's this? Give us our this day our daily bread. So they were religious. I've got to be careful so it didn't show anything. 
yeah, look at this. Albert uh, Beecroft. And a signature on there as well. That's really good. Have I got bear cam? No, not at the moment. Oh, it's his travel identity card for travel between Great Britain, Northern Ireland and the Irish Republic. That's cool. Didn't know you needed one of those for that. You recognise the two boys? Yes, actually, maybe I do as well. I think you're right. I think we, I'm pretty sure I've been in here. Bear, stop causing trouble, man. Stop causing loads of trouble. Right. Let me see what's on here. There's nothing we need to look at. Oh, this is an identity card. Oh, there's nothing in it there. Let's have a look. That's the same guy that was in the passport. Um, I think that might be as well with his dog. I hope you can see these. And that's that lady again. Let's see what's this. What? A, a treatise on the culture of cucumber? A new and advantageous method of cultivating that plant. What an odd book. 1794? That book's from 1794. That is mad. It wasn't exciting at all when it was just about a cucumber, but 1794 is one of the oldest books. That is mad. Well, not one of the oldest books ever. Like, it doesn't predate the Bible or anything. Um, what else we got? Little man going round there. What we got in the drawers? Anything exciting? I don't think so. Cupboards. Glasses. Um, one sec. Yes, we did do Patreon messages sat on there. 100% I remember doing them. That was the thing that made me think about it. Because I, I remembered sitting on there and talking to people. But yeah, if it was Patreon, that makes sense as well. But let's look at these photos on here. Oh, look at these ones. These are some old ones. Um, hi Andy, you ever get... Right, people just don't realise. People, like, I swear they watch one video every six years. And then they're like, oh, Andy, when are you coming back? <laughs> they just don't get it. I like him, though. He looks good, doesn't he? Um, thing is, Tokyo, it's only really this one room. It's a shame, really, because the rest of the place, I think, is a bit trashed. But I daren't go out of this room because of the the signal. Also, look how wet it is in here. Look at this. It's absolutely soaking in here. I sat on this set earlier on and got a wet bum instantly. What are you doing, fat dog? What are you doing, fat dog? What are you looking at? Why are you looking behind me like there's someone stood behind me? Stop doing that. Stop it. <laughs> Who is it? Who's here? Who oh, is here? Where is he? Find it. What are you doing on the settee? Nobody said get on the settee. Are you finding it? Oh, didn't Bear have... Was it this... Bear, you've got a pooey bum. Wasn't it this one where Bear had a bit of a thing about the settee? He was obsessed with this settee. I don't know. I can't remember if it is or not. Um... Right, it's, I'm gonna have to try and find the the thing for it. But I just thought it'd be, oh look, looky look. Got a nice dead bird there. I thought so, I thought so. Um, right, let's have a look. I don't think there's much, I like that. I think that's pretty cool. I don't know, it's chipped, which is a shame. Oh Andy, you saying yes to being um, obsessed with the settee. Look, he's doing it again. What are you doing on that settee then? What is it about that settee that you like? Eh? Who's there? Find him. Find him. Tokyo, stop sending me personal messages when I'm trying to do a live. You're the melt, not me. So yeah, there's loads of bits in there. Um. What's that? Uh, first class certificate. A little cat and a little pig. 
and some other stuff down here. Right. Oh, and a big clog. Massive clog. Right, I'm going to talk to you again for a little bit now. Let me just turn you around. Someone died on the settee. Probably me. There we go. Ah, yeah. Oh, also, even though Tokyo is being an absolute numpty and messaging me while I'm trying to do this, can you all please go across to her channel and subscribe? If everybody in this chat now subscribed, I think it would take her over 3,000 subscribers, and I would love that. Um, because she won't shut up about it. She's like, oh, one day I might get 3,000 subscribers. Oh, I don't know when it's going to happen. And so, I know, most people probably have already. Um, I'll have to take the sofa home for bed. I don't bloody think so. Um, yeah, so if you just click on her name in chat and then press report. No, don't. <laughs> I'm joking. Uh, I'll try and put the link in for you just a minute. Because I know some people will struggle. So, talk your Matilda. Da, 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 da. Oh, maybe I should. Uh, shall I subscribe? I'm joking. I am subscribed. All right. Um, no, you just you're gonna want to see some of her videos though because she's done. Um, one second. Paste. There we go. I'll pin it as well. Oh no, I won't. I'll, I'll try and pin it, but it might not let me. Yeah, it's not letting me pin things today, which is a bit rubbish. Um, no, won't let me pin it. Sorry, tried to, but it won't let me. Um, <laughs> but yeah, she's just come back from Japan. And I'm telling you now, some of the stuff she's got up to looks amazing. So you're going to want to see it. So I'm not just promoting her because she's my editor. I'm promoting her because I think genuinely you're going to enjoy her stuff. Um, although <laughs> although somebody commented uh, the other week on the second channel, I've unsubscribed because I don't want to have to listen to a squeaky three-year-old. So I've unsubscribed to this channel. I'm like, she's not speaking on it. She's just bloody editing it. <laughs> So, uh, she is, she's really good. She is really good. She's a pain in the arse, but she's really good. Um, but yeah, if we can get up to 3,000, that would that would be brilliant. It really, really would. Um, what's that? Yeah. Got some more. Oh, you're going, oh, not on a boat this time. You're not going to go on, go on a boat. I'm 11. Jesus, not three. <laughs> oh, the person I was talking to you about today was like, can I just confirm that she is over the age of 18? Because we're a bit concerned that she's under the age of 18. I'm like, well, she may act it, but she's not. So, um, let's have a look. Why am I not reading it on here? Let's have a look. Do, 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 do. Also, in, when is it? At the end of August, beginning of September, I've got a week when Freddie is away in Egypt. And I want to go somewhere a bit special. And I want some suggestions. And I want some suggestions that aren't just the regular suggestions. And like, I'm not, in a week, I'm not going to America. And I'm not going to Australia or New Zealand. It's too far in a week. But there's some places I'd like to go that are a bit different. And I just want you guys to tell me. So, um, one second. Uh, I get ID for any drinks all the time, <laughs> yeah. Alaska, is that not part of America? Have I just not said no America? <laughs> Thailand, I'm going very near to um, to Thailand anyway soon because I'm going to Cambodia and I'm going to... Where's the other place? Um, so, so. Shall I tell you where I'm going? Oh, Tromso. I would like to go to Tromso, but... There's no way, Andy, you can still find me locations if you want. Feel free to send me some. If you find some in Tromso, send them over. Um, I would like to go to Tromso though. Oh, is Edith in chat? Hi, Edith, you lovely lady. Um, yeah, there, there's plenty of places I'd like to go. Let's see what else. Iceland, I'd love to go to Iceland, but it's finding places to explore. And the thing is, if I start putting up non-exploring videos on Sundays, People will have a right face on and won't watch anymore. So I can't, I can't, 
have people walking away. It's just not good. Um, there's an Iceland down the road. Um, Norway. I've been to Norway, but I've never explored in Norway. I went to Norway last year. It's a really good place. There we go. Needed to do that. Um, Ru Romania. I'm never going back to Romania, ever. Ever, ever. Don't go to Copenhagen. Why? Because it's ridiculously expensive. Um, oh, yeah. I know all Scandinavian countries are expensive, but you don't have to spend lots of money, you know. Uh, where did that copper say? He said Rome, and that's where I've just been. Um, six out of ten. Yeah, but you were there for about two hours. You can't start saying that it were good. Mexico is just as far as America. We're, we're getting rid of the whole of the Americas. North America, Middle America, South America. No, too far in a week. I've only got a week. I've also got to try, got to be able to afford it. I don't know how I'm going to afford going to Singapore, let alone. Um, what else was I say? Titanic, what? Dock in Belfast is very active. I'm not going to go and like try and, try and pull a... A burly, like, sailor from Belfast. Dorset. We're talking a bit further than Dorset. I mean, away from the UK, but somewhere a bit special. Uh, what's on the YouTube membership thingy? Extra videos. Yeah, so you get access to extra videos You also, uh, on our website. Uh, you also get things like the little icons so you can use... I can't actually even use it on this because I'm logged in on the other channel. Um... Will you ever come to the US? Yes, I will. I just don't know when. Um, it's about it's a mix of time and money at the moment. Russia, I've already been to. It was brilliant. Finland, definitely would like to go to Finland. Norway, I would go back to Norway. Um, team up with a flat earther. <laughs> you know what? I watched a video today, and this has nothing to do with flat earth, although that would be quite funny. Malta, I don't think I'm interested in. It's a lot of empty, there's a lot of abandoned buildings, but they're all empty buildings. Um, where did it, where was it? He went to Ukraine. This guy that I watched drove to Ukraine and um, he, like, he flew to somewhere like Poland and then drove into Ukraine. It looked mad. I would like to do it, but I'd be a bit scared. Uh, Budapest, I'd go to Budapest. Uh, go to Japan. You see, I would love to go to Japan because I think there's going to be loads of amazing things there, but I wouldn't want to do what everybody else has done. I'd like to go to some places that are just like, like you've done, like proper research stuff. Greenland, Bulgaria. Bulgaria, there's one location that I know of and you can't get in it. Um, a big, massive Soviet Union thing. Um, and it looks, or communist thing, it looks really good. But you can't get in it. Jerusalem, me and Andy were going to go to Jerusalem, Jerusalem, uh, and then COVID hit. Uh, we we're supposed to go to Jordan as well, so I wouldn't mind going to uh, Israel and Jordan. It wouldn't bother me, to be fair. Um, who's, what you're applying, been to? Tallinn, yes, Tallinn was amazing. Uh, Estonia was really nice. There wasn't as many locations as I thought there would be, but I think maybe we didn't do as much research as we we should have done and we were more focused on going to russia than than estonia so i don't know uh monaco yes because there's going to be loads of abandoned buildings in monaco andrew let's go on this abandoned casino where people are spending a million pounds on black <laughs> um saint -Tropez, yeah all down that coast i'm sure you know what i bet there is actually some big places portugal i went to in december uh, I wouldn't mind going back to Portugal, um, but it's it's finding more stuff. You go, you could hit Poland countless times and never run out of locations. Really, feel free to send them to me, Obexy, and I will go off and have a look. Uh, Santa's Grotto. I'd love to get in Santa's Grotto. To be fair, I did think I was Santa with how long my hair is at the moment and beard. Um, let's have a look. Oh, Edith, you're so lovely. Thank you so much for sending some money through to PayPal. Really, really appreciated. Um, one second. Yes, I can vouch for Tokyo. Her name actually is Tokyo. It's not just like a, a weird stage name. She's called Tokyo, which is very bizarre. 
Um, got stuck on the Russian border for hours. Oh, that place that we stayed in, Andy, that place when we got stuck at the border, when we come through that snowstorm after being chased by the Russian army all in one day, then <laughs> we got to the border and we had to stay in a hotel that cost like six quid for the night and we got cold sausage and bacon for breakfast. It was very strange. Egypt, I would like to go to... Um, but that's where Freddie's going to be. Freddie's going to be in Egypt, so I don't really want to <laughs> be hanging round like and like round there. It just would be a bit weird. Um, let's have a look. Thanks, Father and Mother Tokyo. What are we talking? Who are we on about now? Oh, can I pin that? Oh, that's why I can't pin it because I'm not logged in on Finders Beepers. I'm on Beeper Beef. I'm thinking. See if you can pin it, Lisa. Press and hold the actual message, not your name, the actual message, see if it'll work. Uh, will there ever be a collab with anyone like Josh or Dan again? Uh, to be fair, the videos that I've done with them have done the worst. Like, And I loved, I was speaking to Dan earlier on, he messaged me earlier on. Um, I've been to Rhodes, I found World War II ruins on the last day of the holiday. I don't know, to explore. There is lots of places like that on those islands, all around sort of Cyprus and things like that. But I think they'd all be the same. That's my only concern, is I'd go there. Like, the same with Norway. All on that Norway and Finland coast and, like, Sweden and places like that. There's loads and loads of, like, military things. But I just think they'd all be very similar. Um, let's have a look. No, nothing coming up to pin. All right, fair enough. Um, well, I'm logged in on the wrong one. Is Kaspersite joining for an ex... Right. If we can... He wants to do one. If you really, really, really want me to go and do an explore with Ben, I will. Because Ben, I really get on with. Like, there's there's not many people that I would say yes to, but Ben, I would. Not even Tokyo. Tokyo can, can do one. I'm not... I couldn't do with her for more than half an hour. Um... So, so, but Ben, I, I really like Ben. He's a good lad. Um, Casper said, yes, yes. Well, we'll have to bully him and make him come. He wants to come. It's just, it's pinning people down. And this is what I don't like about going with other people because it's then fitting around their schedules and stuff like that. And it's just a pain in bum, isn't it, really? Do you know what I mean? Um, it's, it's fitting people in. He is, Ben is such a nice guy. Like, when we did the video last year, um, where I sort of surprised Andy, I took him away and stuff like that. I'm entertaining, just unfortunately sometimes I don't have, <laughs> have a quiet button, it's true. Um, like The amount of times I've said to you, all right, that's been brilliant, glad I've talked to you, um, right, I'm just going to edit. And then 20 minutes later, we actually stopped talking. It's just... <laughs> um, but yeah, what you didn't see on the video with Ben was... What are you doing there, dog? Um, he sat and talked for hours and hours and hours to me about like how to change things on the channel, what to do better. Um, it was so helpful, such a nice guy, and then paid for our food as well. He's just he's such a such a top bloke. Uh, no one does Switzerland. I would like. I wasn't far from Switzerland when I went to Italy. Not this time. The time before. God, that's weird. I've been to Italy four times in six months. That is mad. I think that is mad. But I'm enjoying it. So, uh, enjoyed that vid when you surprised Andy. Oh, yeah, it was. It was a really good one. I'm I'm glad we did it uh, when we did it. So, um, strange floaty thing near the door. What is this, by the way? What can I see with the green thing on here? Is it the back of my torch? No. Oh! <laughs> it's... Right, I'll show you what it is. Oh, it ain't on this phone. It's it's this black bit on my phone. <laughs> it's there and you can't see it. I can see it. I'm like, what is that? <laughs> it's part of my actual phone. <laughs> what an idiot. Um, Let's have a look. Uh, you don't need to apologise, Jill. You can turn up at any time, even when I've left. And then, <laughs> then you'll just be sat watching nothing. Um, let's have a look. Ben's a top bloke. And his face when he turned around. Oh, yeah. And the thing is, like, it was that was Ben's idea. I messaged to him and said, oh, you're going to be about? And he's like, right, we need to do it this way. We need to surprise him. And we need to go to a bar. Don't tell him he's, I'm coming and he'll 
and just turn up and it was it was such a nice moment it was really really good um but there there's there is there's so many good videos there is so many good videos over the years that's a good key i like that key don't know why i like that key but i do i have a thing about keys quite like them it's not a key fetish i don't like shoving up my bum i just quite like them they're quite aesthetically pleasing what was that uh Hi, Farty Hands. That's a nice name. Where am I? I am I'm here. I'm in the northeast of England in a bungalow that I've been to before, apparently. Uh, best day ever getting pissed with him. It was. It was so good. It was so, so good. Although I didn't get... I didn't have a drink that night, did I? Did I? No, I, I didn't. One night or the other, I didn't drink, and then you drank, and I can't remember which way around it was. Um, But it was really, really good. I want keys, I'm making stuff with keys. Well, I'm not pinching keys for you. I don't take things out of these places. You should know that by now. Um, oh, let's have a look. Uh, that's a key to the button box. No, it isn't. It's the key to this bleeding cabinet. If there is a button box, we're not looking at it. Horrible, horrible things. I hate buttons. Oh, there's a couple of things coming up in the, in the videos in Italy, in this village, that one, one involves a weird scarecrow thing and it sounds like it's made up it sounds like it's from a horror film but it was like a fucking horror film i'm not gonna lie there'd been a thunderstorm uh, the doors and things were banging um and then i went up i went up to this door one of the last places i went to in the top of the village and on the floor is a small child shaped scarecrow but it's like a sacking person it was like made out of sacking um and as i walked up to it i was like what is that and i went up and i just touched his head and as i touched his head bang the biggest bang you have ever heard came from the building directly behind it i went in no windows no doors that could have possibly banged i pooed my pants and it was so, so good, but so, so scary. But there was other bits as well, which I've shown. If you're a Patreon member, go onto the Patreon main page. And there's a couple of clips from things that happened uh, while I was there as well. Just a couple of bits behind the scenes. I've not shown you everything, just two two clips on there. And they're worth seeing. Um, so, <laughs> scarecrows and clowns. I wonder if I can find, I don't want to give it away, but I might be able to just find a picture of the scarecrow thing. Oh, no, I can't because it's on that phone. Oh, that's a shame. I would have liked to have showed you that. Oh, is it? Is it definitely on that phone? And obviously, you can't, you can't explore anywhere without seeing the crying boy. <laughs> He's everywhere you go. Um... But yeah, it was one of the freakiest experiences ever. I was so, so scared. So scared. And I'm a fully grown bloke. When I was, you can, there's a point when something happened. I'm not going to give away what it was. Something happened and there was a, a noise. And I, you can tell I'm almost crying. <laughs> and I don't cry. Fear doesn't make me upset and scared and things like that. Well, it makes me scared, but it doesn't make me emotional. But on this occasion, I'd predicted what a noise was. And then I got round over the top of something. And the thing that I thought had made a noise was there. And it just sent shiver, a shiver down my spine. It was awful. It was awful. Um, as a beeper mum I worry oh god I haven't even really told you everything that, that's happened including something quite bad that could have been terrible but it wasn't so we're okay is this Sunday's video no um, this Sunday's video is good there's loads of stuff there's some nice ceilings there's some bits of stuff to look at um, I end up going to a cave I go in a castle it's, there's loads of stuff in it but the second uh, the third video, let me think. Something happens in the third video. Um, we also find human remains in the third video. Um, yeah, I know that crying boy is supposed to be bad luck. I know. 
Um, yeah, we find human remains in the third video. We also find a full body of an animal in a, in the third video. Um, and then in... I swear I keep hearing music playing in here. Um, and then in the fourth video, the thing with the scarecrow happens. You need, it's my favourite. I love this series. I really do. I've been I've edited all four of them already. And Andy knows 100%. I only edit in front if I'm really into it and I'm really enjoying it. And it's it's an explore that I proper, I proper loved. But I'm still tired from it now. I'm a week on since I've got back. My legs are still hurting. My knees are still hurting. I feel achy all over because I work so hard and I hope it does really, really well. Um, how, am I, how am I doing? I'm thanks. Uh, I'm good, Callum. Let's see. I'll just track back. I've missed loads of these. You carry a picture of the crying boy. No, I just took a photograph of it while we were out on the ex while I was on the explore. So um, let's have a look. What somebody said. I feel like I've missed something. If I was a spirit, I'd be pissed off by now trying to get your attention while you're talking away. Yeah. Imagine, imagine there's someone like, Woo, and I'm just like, oh. um, hi, my, my brother, when he was alive, bless him, hated buttons. Yeah, no, I, <coughs> someone went in my mouth, isn't that horrible? Yeah, that's the... <laughs> <laughs> the dead guy's like sticking his cock in my mouth now, trying to get my attention. Just hit me right at the back of the throat. <laughs> He's well endowed. Um, <laughs> let's have a look. Let's have a look. I love the content. My mental health is really bad. My anxiety and depression really bad. You know what? I I love the fact that it's it's like it helps both of us. It's not just that like. My videos help you guys. You guys help me because I've. I don't want to bang on about it. I've had a horrible year. Last year was a horrible, horrible year. I, I'm, and it's not been particularly great at the beginning of this year. But you guys help me through it. Like I have down days. Like Tokyo knows one hundred percent. One day this week, it's because I was overtired. I was really feeling down. I was really feeling off. Uh, and Patreon members, I was talking to them and saying, I, I just want right, I didn't feel right. And you guys just pulled me through. I love talking to you. I really, really do. Um, I do the opposite way around. You're in good company. Uh, hi. Oh, I can never... I'm just going to call you Berlin. Hi, Berlin. Hope you're good. Hi, Lee. Uh, I'm sorry if I keep missing people's messages. There's quite a few, to be fair. Um your videos cheer me up. Yeah, and I'm glad. I really am glad. Like, and the thing is, <laughs> sometimes I do get down because videos don't do as well as I'd like to them to. I we've had about a third of the views drop off, but it's usually like this in January and February anyway. Um, I hope they do win on Saturday. I really hope they do win on Saturday. Although I'm not going on Saturday. Um, when's the next match I'm going to? Uh, possibly, is it Swansea? I think I might be going to. Um, hey, Matt, if you weren't married, well, I'm not married, so there we go. Uh, I'd take you to McDonald's and out for a date burger. Well, I'm not married. I am very much not married, so don't worry about that. Um, there we go. Da -da -da -da. What have I missed on here? Mm. Oh. Debs, you cheer me up daily. You cheer me up every single day. Just your beaming face on my messages. I'm like, oh, she's here, look, cheering me up. Um, let's have a look. I don't think you would like to do anything paranormal. It just doesn't interest me. Like, if something happens... Um, hi, Jeanette, Jeanette, Jean, Jeanette. I can never say your name right. Um... If something happens, I will acknowledge it. I won't ignore it. I will wholeheartedly try and investigate it as much as I can. But I am not taking out some flashing fucking teddy bear and a K2 meter and a thing that makes stick men on your screen or something that like sets off a little bell. I'm sorry, but I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. Unfortunately, I don't. I'm very much single, by the way. Um, but, uh, 
Let's have a look. Cat bells, oh, cat balls, yeah, rolling about. What is what is that all about? Um, there is some, there is some very, very, very bizarre things in paranormal. Yeah, uh, don't forget the flashing balls, those paranormal. Yeah, exactly. That's it. Um, Matt, are you coming to South Wales? South Wales is somewhere actually. I do need to go because we've only ever really done one lot of. One trip in South Wales, me and Andy, fucking, what a horrible day that was. It was nice because I spent it with Andy and we had a good time. But we drove to Bristol and then somewhere else a bit further down from Bristol. I'd got COVID, I'd had my COVID fucking jab. So I felt like death. Um, we went there, went there, couldn't get in. Then we went to round Cardiff, round the bottom of Wales, couldn't get in, couldn't get in. I think we went to about eight different locations that day. Absolutely, unbelievably bad. Unbelievably bad. Cover your ears, Bear. Why? What's someone saying about Bear? What, because I'm being loud? <laughs> um, no, I was I was married years ago. I'm not married anymore. I was married to Katie and Amy's mum. Um, uh, love the Italy stuff, it's been fab, you need to eat better. I am eating better at home. Um, today, I went, I got a drink uh, and I got um, some mango and then I thought, you know what, because I wanted a meal deal. I thought, you know what, I'm just going to get a bigger mango. So I got a big mango, a little mango and a drink. So I've been quite good, I am, I'm doing all right. Is Bear there? Yes, he is. He's wandering around over there, still sniffing stuff. Um, one sec. You drive me insane about a lot of subjects. Why? What have I done now? Jesus, man. Um, love your videos. Make way through all of them. My great-grandparents from London and Cambridge. Um, Cambridge fucking winds me up. Andy will... <laughs> I don't know if we've been twice or three times to the same bloody location in Cambridge. I feel like we've been three times. I don't know. Once we went by accident... Because numb nuts forgot that we'd already been there. <laughs> He's done that before as well. He did that in, in Wales once in Anglesey. Um, but we went, what's that? Where am I? I am in the, no I'm your neck of the woods. I'm in the northeast of England, not your neck of the woods now. So you said you wouldn't take a fluffy bear. Oh, yeah, no, I said I wouldn't take a flashing bear. And it, like, bear with his little lipstick. Woo! Why are you getting up now doing that? Why are you getting up? Don't you be getting your lipstick out, you weirdo. Um, one sec. I'm like, you hate rules. Yeah, no, I definitely hate rules. I, no, I, I wouldn't say I hate rules. I just hate rules being imposed on me. That's, that, that's it. So, um, yeah, one second. Yeah, Edith, message me some point tomorrow... And we will sort that thing out for you. Uh, I've been very busy today. Can you see you in a red dress? Well, there's no red dresses in here. So, and no, Debs, before you get any ideas, no. Rules are there to be broken. You don't always have to break them. You can bend them a lot. Um, one second. Uh, good night. Oh, is Andy off? I didn't see him. Oh, no. Another waste of time, that place. Which one? Which one? Have I just talked about something that was a waste of time? Oh, South Wales and more. Oh, that were awful. That were terrible. Um, let's have a look. Uh, can we see Bear before I have to go to bed? Yes, I'm, I suppose you can. Just a minute. I will leave the chat there. I'll get you and turn you around and get the torch. Easy look. Why are you looking at that door? What are you looking at the door for? Oh, Cambridge. Oh, yeah, Cambridge was an absolute pain in the arse. I still think we could have got in. Do you know what one of my favourites was that we don't talk about enough? The one with the very, very deep well. I thought that place was amazing. I really do, where Bear almost jumped down the well. Bear boy. Bear boy. What are you doing? Stop looking at that door. Why do you keep looking at the door? What is it? What is he? Who's he here? The rabbits. Find them. Find those rabbits. What's, what you got? 
What did he pick up then, you weirdo? <laughs> what? Where have you gone? What are you getting then? You find it. Where is it? Where is it? Find it. No, don't get the dead bird, you little tramp. All right, that's enough of bear. Oh, I remember the um, the time the man at the back. I can't ever forget that. It's it's like still scares me today. <laughs> um, I'll say uh, my partner thinks your dog is extremely cute. Nope, you scared me too much in that one. You scared me too much. Oh yeah, the one with the the well. Well, that was so good. The place itself was brilliant. There were so many good things in it. It was really old, like ridiculously old. Um, one sec. Um, doo -doo -doo. Andy was brave in that red dress. Andy was always brave dressing up. Like, you've got to think, we're in these, but like somebody could walk through that door now. There could be a copper sat outside waiting to come in. And if, <laughs> I'll never forget, I'll never forget the day where he was wearing the the wedding dress and there was the noises and he shit himself. Fucking brilliant, that. It was one of the best things in the world. One of the best, best things in the world. <laughs> the fear on his face when he was wearing a wedding dress and he thought somebody was about to come in. You've got to think how how scary that is. Like how What you've got to explain to these people is ridiculous. Um, oh, sodding cat. Yes, I remember that. Oh, there's been another orb. Let's have a look. Um... I like the way you do things. Random voice shows up. It's a plus. Yeah. Um, one sec. Remember, if you need a place to stay, live about 50 minutes from Stansted Airport. But where? North, south, east, west? Um, let's have a look. Uh, am I there overnight? I'm going to stay on for a bit. Um, I don't know. I've got two torches with me, so I should be fine. I've also got a battery pack as well. I don't know what the battery's like on this phone. I may have to check that in a bit. In fact, I could. Oh, I bet I've not brought the wire out of the car, though. I might just put it on charge anyway. It was on, like, 93%, so it should be all right. Which way is that? No, nope, wrong one. Let's have a look. Got a battery pack, well, that's no good without a, a wire. Hey, why do you keep looking over there? Yeah, I think I've got the wrong wire, so I don't think I can. Uh, so when the battery goes, it goes. This one you can actually charge when the phone's, oh, I wonder if that'd work. Just let me try something. Let me try something. Um, Right, see you later, Elizabeth. Thank you for popping in. Oh, there's no, not loads of battery life on it. If I put that behind there, I wonder if, oh, it is, it's charging it. That's good. So I can, I could have, <coughs> I can have that there. Jesus. <coughs> I can have that there and charge it at the same time. Uh, those rats with the boots on, oh, that was hilarious because they were so big and so brazen. They just did not care. They were just trotting along, looking at it as if to say, fuck off. Like, this is my house. Get out of here. It was just such a weird, weird situation. And I'm not scared of rats, but that was freaky. Proper freaky. Vibrator in the garden. Oh, my God. That was down near London. It was in London somewhere, I think. Um, in that pink house, weren't it? And it just, we're like, what is that noise? There'd been a, a weed grow upstairs and then all of a sudden this is my rate of moving across the floor. Oh, ridiculous. Uh, Andy, they explore that Matt fell in the pond. Oh, my God. Um, no, you've got that the wrong way round. I was trying to help him. He was stood at the other side. I'm saying, don't go any further. Don't go any further. Don't go any further. Splash. So don't blame me. It was him. <laughs> That was that was funny. Hello, bear boy. Hello, my little bear man. You're a good boy. You're a good boy, aren't you? You're a good lad. Oh, is it because I'm shouting? You wonder what's going on and why it's exciting. Um, the thing is, right, apart from the police the other day, I'm yet to have an explore where I get 
caught by someone other than the police by myself. That's worrying me a little bit. Uh, yeah, the skeleton hanging at the bottom of the stairs, that was the same one as the vibrator. I don't know why this is a vibrator. <laughs> um, see you later, Neil. Uh, thanks for popping in. Uh, it is a great group. The people in here are amazing, to be fair. It's very, very rare we get a dickhead in. And when we do, we all bully them and make them leave. So, oh, thank you so much. How do I know if I'm a Patreon member? Uh, if you've been to patreon.com slash beepers and signed up, then you will be. And download the app, you can log in, and you can come in. The chats, the chats are so good. Like, over the last week, I've been a bit tired, but... While I was away, I was updating photos, I was updating conversations and stuff like that. When am I coming to the States? I would like to come. I would like to come, but I just don't know how I'm going to fit in at the moment. You've got to remember, I'm going to Singapore, Cambodia, potentially somewhere a bit further away, further along in the year as well. See, that's something that's going to be missing because of Andy not being there. The, the cars... I don't know anything about cars. So if somebody says, oh, there's a big barn full of cars, I'll just be going... Oh, there's another one there, <laughs> and that's a car as well. I've got no idea. Um, so the thing is, right, and I, I would never put pressure on because I know people are in different situations, but even if you signed up for a dollar on Patreon, because you can do it at any, I think anything over a dollar, you can sign up. Even if you only go on there for the chats that we have and see the behind-the-scenes photos and stuff before anybody else, it's worth it. Just for that, without all the other stuff. So it is it is really good. And like I said, you don't have to pay out loads. But I, I know 100% that I've been in the same position. Not everybody can afford it. Uh, but the chats are good. They are really good. We, we proper get like, we have a laugh. We talk about stuff nothing to do with exploring sometimes. I'm sick and tired of hearing about Anne's fecking lizard. <laughs> I'm joking. But um, <laughs> it's, uh, uh, do I have OnlyFans? No. Tammy, I think you're getting a bit, <laughs> you're getting a bit over the top here. Like nobody wants to see that. Nobody wants to see. To be fair, you almost saw my balls last week when I got my foot up on the thing, like blocking it off so you couldn't see. Um, one sec, Matt. I know all about cars. Take me with you, Debs. You won't go out the country, so <laughs> there's no chance of that. Anyway, I'm not taking anybody with me. You should know this. Uh, is it standard price for Patreon? You can like the chat. If you're a Patreon member, the chat is available to everybody. Also, the videos that are on, that I'm going to put some more on soon, to be fair, um, on the website that you can get through the Patreon is also 100% for anybody. It doesn't matter who you are, you're involved. Also, if you're a Patreon member, you get one free entry into winning that book. I think we've had about 50 entries from Patreon members just for that. Uh, yes, Lizzie, I am live. I am not dead. Um, let's have a look. She's a fruity one, Tammy. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord, what's she written now? <laughs> My sarcastic sense of humour. No, I like a good sense of humour. There's nothing wrong with that. Um, one sec. Debs is the only one I know that has turnips in her knickers. What the hell? Um, oh, dear. Do you have a laser inside the room because... They have a small orb inside. What? A laser? What do you mean? I've definitely got no lasers in here. I don't own a laser. Actually, I might do. I think Freddie got one in Rome when we went to Rome. Yeah, but that's in his bedroom. I haven't brought a laser with me. Um, oh, I thought these photo frames were really good then and they made out of plastic uh, full of dead people. I swear that's got someone's ashes in it. Um... Let's have a look. Uh, behind you, close of window. Well, that's a door. That's a window. Like, look, my hand's going there. But there's nothing there. So, if you saw a ghost, would you have tea with it or run? I'd have tea with it. Like, at the end of the day, I'd be quite interested. If there was a ghost, Genuinely now, like like you see in all the cartoons, all the TV programmes, and they're a bit like see-through. And they came up and they were like, ooh, hello. And I'd be like, ooh, hello, 
<laughs> then we could sit down and have a chat about what life was like when they were alive and if what life after death's like and if they get to speak to other ghosts or if they all fucking ignore each other or or what it'd be very good i'd love it um, you eat too much curry whatever that is what how do you not know what curry is are you american are you an American? No, to be fair, Americans know what curry is as well, so... I feel like I'm missing... Look, Oh, Julie's in. The most beautiful woman in Ireland is in. Say hello to Julie, the most beautiful woman in Ireland. Um, one second. Although I found out she's not the funniest woman in Ireland. Yes, I love a good curry, as we all know. Let's have a look. Um, it's uh, so great to see you chatting. Thanks so much. Uh, see, yeah, I said it, I said it, and then I thought, I think some parts of America don't know what curry is or don't eat curry, but others do. But maybe they're like the the ones that like marry their own sisters and stuff that don't know what curry is and they only eat baked beans and square pieces of potato. <laughs> That's not a generalisation at all. <laughs> um, have just seen an order. What? You see, I've never seen her. Anne. I don't know what she looks like. And Julie is lovely. So, one sec. Uh, what place more spooky? Wales, Scotland. Ooh. Um, I've been to spooky places everywhere. Like, I've got to say 100%, there's only one place I ever want to run out of very fast, and that's Wales. <laughs> that's Wales. Um I say in New Mexico, do I like Mexican food? I love burritos. They're one of my favourite things in the world. Um, like, I'm gonna say I like Taco Bell, but it's not really, is it? It's like it's just like processed shite. But I, I still like it. But no, I like proper nice burritos that you get in Sheffield. Really good. Um, have you ever stayed in a haunted hotel? Uh, I think maybe as a child, not for the channel. I stayed in a place that was supposed to be haunted and there was noises, but it was a long time ago. Um, I'm in Texas and we can do some uh, kick butt barbecue. Ooh. See, I would like to go to America for the food, although I'd come back the size of a fecking house. Um, Matt, do you think other creators would be up for a create? I want to do. The £150 car video that I did with Andy, I want to do something like that and go to Asia, but against another team. I would love to do a two-car challenge where we race to sort of like the Asian part of Turkey or something like that and get there as fast as we can, but stop off. have to do challenges along the way. I'd love to do something like that. It would just take a lot of time, a lot of money, a hell of a lot of money. So... Um, let's have a look. Would haunted videos be something you consider? No, hundred percent not. You, um, you know what? I really like Adam. Um, I, I think he's a top lad. He came to our meet up. I've got a thing on my table at work where it says um, something about getting your cock out that he wrote on my desk. Um, he's he's a top lad. I would one hundred percent. We talked about like the trip going to Singapore. He potentially was coming with me. Um, and it sort of fell through because I needed to get it booked and he couldn't book it at that point. So it sort of didn't happen, but he was going to come with me. But something will happen with us at some point. I would like to do some maybe second channel stuff with him. I was, oh, I can't tell you that. I'm going to, I'm not, I don't want to give stuff away. Um, one second. Taco Bell is not Mexican food. Nah, it's not. That's what I'm saying. But in the UK, you don't particularly get loads. Or from where I am, you don't get loads of Mexican food. So, like, if you ask someone local to me, they would say, oh, yeah, that's what it is. Um, when are you inviting Rick back on your channel? If I ever go to America, which I will, I will go meet up with Rick. That is my promise to you. I will go and meet up with Rick and we'll make a video together. Um, one sec. Um, oh no, I'm, I'm dyslexic, mate. I won't worry about that. Don't worry about it. Um, would you prefer pulled pork and cheddar sandwich or pork sandwich they had in Italy? Ooh, I'm not a pulled pork kind of guy. I don't mind it. It's just, 
I, I like a good proper pork sandwich. And this might cause an argument. If you're from Sheffield, there's pork sandwich shops and the name gets argued over. Some people think it's called beers. I think it's called beers. And some people think it's called berries. Um, and the only reason I know it's called beers is because my dad knows the owner. And he's a guy that came from somewhere years ago, somewhere like Albania or Italy or something. Um, and they are the best pork sandwiches ever. They're so nice. So, so nice. Um, yeah, the pork sandwich was really good. There was a little bit too much. She was like, I put you layers of lard on there. And I'm like, oh God, this sounds a bit bad. But actually it was really nice, but there was too much of it. Um, I gave some of it to the um, to the pigeons. The pigeons were fighting over it. Uh, stuff, exploring. Australia is just awesome. See, Australia is another one. It's like... And don't take this the wrong way. Australia and America, there's not really loads of history. Like, loads right back. There is stuff from, like, 150, 200 years ago that's going to be good. But I just think... I don't know. I would like to. Maybe I'm just being, like, biased towards Europe. I don't know. Um, I cook an awesome pork roast. Oh, I don't, because I could eat that. Although I have had a KFC on the way here. A KFC, and then I got some um, chili cheese bites from, from uh, I think it's called Burger King. So, one sec. Do they have disco fries in the UK? They have disco crisps, which are the circular ones. Um, that's salt and vinegar. One second. Fat pigeons in Italy now. Yeah, definitely. I love a good pulled pork sandwich. Yeah, I see. Pork. I'm not a massive like barbecue sauce kind of guy either, really. So maybe it's that, because a lot of them have barbecue sauce, and not all of them. Um, let's have a look. Do, do, do. That sandwich sounds lovely without the pork and the lard. <laughs> I just have the bread. <laughs> what else did it have on it? It had the crackling, it had the pork, it had the cheese. The cheese was good. Um... There's some other stuff on there as well, I can't remember. Loads of orbs, is there? See, I can't see any on screen. I can't see anything. So, uh, have you, uh, you have a big sweet tooth. I'm not. I'm definitely a savoury person. I That's, I think, why I don't like pulled pork so much, because it's too sweet. So, uh, have a great evening. Best wishes from Dinnington. Unfortunately place to live but well well done for surviving another night in Dinnington um I used to like battered sausage yes Freddie has battered sausage quite a lot I don't mind battered sausage um I also like battered haggis um battered uh red pudding white pudding what else do I like um I'm not a fan of battered burgers no not for me and I I'm not really a, a pizza crunch kind of guy Pizza Crunch is not the one for me. Um, I will. I do want to try that deep fried chip butty thing though. I think it'd be awful because the bread would just be full of shite. But oh yeah, but I'd haggis stone because I could eat that now. I could eat one of those haggis pies me and Andy had up in Scotland. Oh, uh, so good. Um, one sec. What about all the baked goods on your trips? Yeah, I have plenty of those. Battered fur burger. <laughs> What? Um, yeah, I've I've gone to the thing now. I'm gonna try and eat good stuff. I've, I'm saying this. I've had a KFC and a big burger, KFC and a Burger King tonight, but I'm going to try and stick to good stuff and exercise in the UK, and then when I'm away, I can eat what I want because I've put so much weight on. But you know what? It's because of my shoulder. It's definitely because of my shoulder, because I've not been able to go and do half the stuff that I was doing before because of that. Um, one sec. You're not wrong about the lack of historical locations in the US. Any place with age is abandoned is a shithole full of squatters. See, that's the thing. I wouldn't mind going to... Now, people might disagree with me on this one. I wouldn't mind going to Detroit. I wouldn't mind going up 8 Mile and going to all the places up there and probably get shot, raped and, and killed. So, yeah, I wouldn't mind going there. Not for I don't want to go there to be bummed. I want to go there to see the some of the places because some of them look really good. But, I don't know. Stop eating all the fast food crap. Right. When you come in from exploring for five hours... Bear. 
when you've been exploring somewhere for five hours, it's one o'clock in the morning and that's the only place that's open, tell me you won't eat something from there because you will. Trust me, when you're on the you're in a rush, you're going from place to place and it's the only place you can get food quickly, definitely, definitely right. Sounds like a good night out, yeah. It sounds like somewhere like Mexborough on a Monday night. <coughs> um, do you cook your own food? Um, yes, I do. I had... This is what I had yesterday. Oh, no, it might be on this phone again. Let me look. Oh, no, in... That's what I had for my last night's tea. Bit of broccoli, bit of mashed potato, chicken, Yorkshire puddings, all sorts of things like that. Um, <clears throat> oh, I also made... This was really good. If you want to make good mash, make mash... Add extra butter and add extra cheese, but also fry some chorizo and add it in. Um, honestly, chorizo in mashed potato is amazing. I try, I did it for Freddie because he was he wanted chorizo and it was really good. Cheesy mash with chorizo in is the one. Trust me, it is the one. Um, so I need to start raising a bit of money. To be fair for uh, going to Singapore because I've I've booked the flights I've booked the hotels but I've only paid for one of them I need to start doing a bit of fundraising so if you can think of any fundraising ideas anything you want me to do I've got some signed um some of the photos have been sent from when we did it a couple of months ago because I've been waiting right up until the end of February to send them uh, so some have been sent. If you haven't received yours yet, you will be getting them over the next couple of weeks because they're getting sent in sort of batches because there's quite a few to do. Um, but I've got some posters. I've got some posters. So I might sign posters that I'll, once they're gone, they're gone. So I might do that. But I need to start raising some cash for that because I want to make it as good as I can. Like I, Obviously, I can take it out of my own money and some out of the channel's money and things like that, but I really want to make it special. I've got some ideas for things I want to do. Um, and So if you've got any good ideas for fundraising between now and then, message me on something. Um, let's have a look. Uh, pack right, Sherry. Why are you so obsessed with what I'm going to eat? I can't pack. St what can I pack? How can I pack stuff? I'm on a trip. I'm driving from place to place. I can't. It's not possible. Honestly, if you try and fit in the things I fit into a trip, I am driving. I don't have a second for myself, let alone making a fecking sandwich. <laughs> so, um, check your dog. He's un he's literally sat under my legs. He's not disappeared. He's down here. Um, let's have a look. Uh, do I have a favourite explorer? People ask this all the time. There's there's numerous explorers that I would say are up there. Oh my God, Sherry, I'm going to kill you. <laughs> it's not... Right, sometimes I struggle to get a toothbrush and toothpaste while I'm there. So, uh, where am I now? I've just joined. I'm in the northeast of England in a little abandoned bungalow. I will show you around again in a minute. Um, when Sherry's stopped telling me off for my eating habits. <laughs> um, uh, let's have a look. Uh, Matt, I can get a calendar of you. Oh, I could do calendars if you want for next year, but not for this year now, it's too late. If I've got some forward planning, I get some good photos done, then I might do it, I might do it. Um, but they're a pain, calendar. I used to work in the print business. And I've got contacts in the print business, so I can get some stuff. Um, oh, one sec. Oh, really? That's really good, H. I'm glad. I'm glad. Um, I told my... Because my mum sent a lot of them. Um, so I told us to just chuck in anything, like some extra ones in there. So if you've got extra ones, that's why. Um, wine is fruit to me, red grapes. Yes. I, c I could do a calendar, but it is, they're a pain in the arse to set up. Like, I don't think you understand how much of an arse they are. So I'd have to get, like, a designer to do it for me, which I don't, I don't know whether I can. Oh, thank you so, so much. Thank you, Lizzie. That really, really means a lot. I've got an itchy nose now. I think it's dusty in here. This creepy abandoned house was guarded by something very angry. That sounds like one of my titles. I feel like I've missed something else you've said. 
Um, let's have a look. What else? Um, I would love a photo of you next to my bed. <laughs> people, people worry me. People seriously worry me. They really do. Uh, could you do a calendar for Victoria's Secret? What, you want me wearing lingerie? I think I saw something down next to that door then. Down over there. Um, do a bear calendar. I could do a bear calendar, to be fair. He needs cutting. He needs to lose some weight. Um, bear calendars would do quite well, I think. I think people would be interested in them. Um you know what I could do? You can you used to be able to get like hardback books on something like Woucher quite cheap. I might do some of them, like limited edition ones. Uh, standing in a room naked, nobody wants to see that. Andy, what are you saying you'll do? I don't even know what you'll say you'll do. If the door moves, run. Right, I can't even tell you. I can't tell you, but that may have happened while I was off. Oh, Fucking hell. That may have happened while I was in Italy. Wow. Wow. And I was nowhere... People on Patreon, that was one of the clips I put on. People on Patreon know that I was nowhere near the door either. There was I was nowhere near it. So anyway, <clears throat> I say, one of the funniest episodes was the pensioner circling the house. Oh, God, that was hilarious. I, I was just crouching down, watching this guy going round on his little scooter. It was hilarious. Yes, a bear calendar. Um, one second. For anyone that doesn't know, because people might not know, Andrew Thompson or Andy Thompson, what's he down as on here? Is he Andrew or Andy? Andy Thompson on here is Andy. So if you haven't noticed, he's in chat. He is in chat. <coughs> um, one sec. Oh, thank you so, 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 so much. Wreaking havoc. So, so appreciated. That will definitely go in the pot. Um, husband and I are obsessed with your food eating. I've noticed. I've noticed, you crazy fool. Sorry, I shouldn't be calling my subscribers crazy fools, but you're crazy. Um, and he's in chat. You guys are the best. <laughs> um, one second, I thought... Was, uh... Yeah, just to prove I'm not dead. Yeah, because there's been so many conspiracy theories going around. Like, he's not made a statement. He's not said this. He's not done that. He's in He's in prison. He's dead. He's so poorly. He's got cancer. Um, Matt's stolen all his money. Um, Matt's bullied him to the point where he doesn't want to do it anymore. There's so many rumours gone round, and it's stupid. Like, we, we must have said it a thousand times, so... Uh, scariest explorer I've ever done is possibly the village that I've just done in Italy. Uh, it's between that and probably the one that I did in Cornwall. Um, was that you, Bear, that noise? Um, and the best explores... It's between the island that I did with Andy near Italy... And this this town that I've done. Or maybe the other big place I did in Italy as well. That was good. With the amazing ceilings. Between those three. So actually all three of my favourite explorers have been in Italy. In fact there was a fourth as well. There was that other place in Italy that we did. That big villa. That got like animal cages in the cellar. That was amazing as well. I really enjoyed that one. Um... Love from Cornwall. I do like Cornwall. Um, one second. The island off Venice was amazing. It was. And the thing is, I don't think anyone will ever realise... I swear I saw something else again then over there. Um, I don't think anyone else will ever, ever, ever realise how amazing it felt. Like going on that boat on the way over and just like... Because there'd been a storm or something but the sun was coming out and the feeling of just going across on that boat and then being on that island it was just beautiful it really really was and then it got such a weird feeling oh thank you so so much um nothing wrong with the, you know oh yeah oh up oh, up oh, the blades i don't think so oh don't don't clip that and get me saying those words because i should never have said that out loud 
Um, oh dear, I feel a bit sick saying that. Thank you though, Paul. Very much appreciated. Um, yeah, lots of dust particles. It could it could just be dust. It could just be dust. It probably is. It's the only way people are mentioning it is because I've been to this place before, and the place when I came to this place last time, there was ridiculous weird ones going across the screen. So that's why people are going on about it. I think. Um, oh. Thank you so much, Christian. So, so much. Keep going and exploring much love. I can't wait to do some more, like, different countries. The only problem is... Oh, celebrate the first... Oh, that's the super chat. Um, yes, we are all Wednesday, aren't we? Definitely, 100%. Uh, I don't know. The place with the fountains was amazing. It was really good. But I want to go to some countries that I've never been to before. But the problem with that is... If you go somewhere and explore somewhere that other people haven't explored, there's no way of finding the the locations in the first place. So if it's very, very difficult to find a location that nobody's if nobody's done it before in another country, it's really hard. Uh, oh God, no, we're not, Dave. We are not. Especially not after Bloody Friday. That were awful. Um let's debunk this how can we debunk it we're going to chase it around a little little thing and catch it and go excuse me are you some dust or are you a ghost <laughs> what do you want to do is roy still dead yeah he's still dead nah he's not dead but people think he's dead so he's staying dead for now um that door is moving it's not the door's not moving don't don't do that uh josh has been in china what an eye opener. Has he really? Bear. What are you doing? I can just see his tail wagging from behind the settee. Right, so I'm going to tell you something that I haven't told anyone apart from the Patreon members. It's only a small thing, but it is very good. Are you interviewing a new sidekick kick for the channel? No, absolutely not. There's nobody can replace Andy and... So there will be nobody coming on the channel at all, apart from just me and Bear. Um, so when I, I'm going to France in, is it two weeks, three weeks? Uh, I haven't actually found any locations yet, so I probably should do that. Uh, I'm actually going with Freddie and my dad, but I'm going to go off exploring at night when I've had some day, daytime stuff with them, because it's going to be over Easter. Um one second. Uh, right, guys, I'm off. Been a pleasure. Yeah, thank you for coming on, in, Andy. I did. I didn't know you were coming in, so thank you so much for popping in. Um, I think it's made everybody a lot happier, which is very much appreciated. Um, so yeah, I, at the end of the month, over Easter, I will be in France. Then I'm going to be going away sometime in April, but I don't know where I'm going or, or anything yet. No plans have been put in place for that, but I will be doing. There'll be some other country I'm going to. But it's May. May is the big one. May, I will fly off to Singapore. I think I'm there for five days. Then I'm going to Cambodia, and I'll be there for another five days. I'm just going to let you all say bye to Andy first, and then I'm going to tell you something. The door's moving, not lying. Stop it. Bear's actually sat looking at the door at the moment, to be fair. He's sat right there. That door is moving. Right, stop it. You're all, you're all just saying it just to wind me up. Look, Bear is literally laid looking at the door at the moment. He is a little bit obsessed with it. Um, Bear was looking at the door. He is. He's sat there now. He's looking at it. So, is the window open? No. I'll show you. Wait a minute. I'll turn you around. Before I tell you where the other places I'm going, um, I'll tell you. Oh, thank you, Kaz, for being a member for 15 months. Very much appreciated. Right, let me just turn you around. Right. It is. There is no draft or anything in here. Those windows are very much closed. Very much closed. And he is sat looking at the door. Which usually means that, now that is not an orb that you can see there. That's a fly. 
I'll tell you, I'll tell you the truth. If there's, if there's a fly, there's a fly, but that was a fly. There is no draft or anything in here. It's, it's absolutely still. Like proper still. There's not like if you look at the curtains, curtains aren't moving at all. So yeah, I will tell you 100%. If it's, if there's a fly there, I'll tell you it's a fly. If it's something else, then I'll tell you. So, but yeah, for people that have just come in, we'll have another quick wander around. So, dead body under the floorboards. But yeah, let's have a look. Look, you can see that dangling there. If there was any sort of draft, that would move, but it's not. It's not moving at all. So, and I'll be honest, I'll always be honest with you. There's no point. Oh, look, that's that little boy on that picture with his dad. Um, one second. I hope there's no neighbours. No. So for a start, there's like half a tree outside that window, but there's no houses directly behind this place. There are houses in front of this place. However, there's like probably five, ten metres of land covered in trees, so you can't actually see at all in this room. Uh, let's have a look over here for people that haven't already seen. And then I will tell you where... Can I turn the heating on? I wish I bloody could, because it is starting to get a bit cold in here now. Yeah, look, these are the, the people. They were those boys that we just saw a minute ago. Can you clean up while I'm there? Uh, no, don't call me Andy. I don't do cleaning. So, but there is some good stuff in here. But we've definitely been here before. So you can look back at an older video and, uh, and see it. But it's quite a good place to do a live. I'm glad I've done a live here now. Uh, I sent you a Hoover and a Duster. <laughs> Bloody hell, just a minute. Oh. Oh. There we go. Right, let me turn you back around again. Hey, Erin's in. Hello, Erin. A, pri a priest above two boys, how unusual. <laughs> oh, stop with the scary stuff. Right. Oh, where's my other phone? It's my pocket. Let's see what people are saying, because I can't read it on there. Um, there we go. Right. That old stained mirror is a favourite used as a portal. What are you talking? A portal? There's no bleeding portals in here. Hope the cops aren't waiting outside for you. Well, at least they can. Uh, we can all say hello to them. You can have a chat with them yourselves. Uh, go back to the window. I think I see a face. I'm not bleeding getting back. It's you again. Same person, game and I, trying to wind me up. Um, Bear, what are you sniffing at now? What you found? When I finish, when... Let me show you him. Oh, no, he's... He's come back out now. He was like looking in a hole down there. Um, so, right. Uh, oh, it's Heather gone. See you later, Heather. You know, do I, be I believe in ghosts. It's Andy that doesn't believe in ghosts. Bear shift, move. You're gonna get stuff all over. Move. Um, one second. Yeah, I believe in ghosts, but I'll not go ghost hunting. It's just not my thing. It never will be, 100%. As Bear found the bones, maybe. Hey, up, Todd. Um, possibly, possibly. So, do you want to know where... I'm doing a 10-hour layover in a certain country. Do you want to know which country it is that I'm going to? There will be some behind-the-scenes in this country. There'll be no exploring here, but there'll be a cracking behind-the-scenes video. Do you want to know where it is? Because I've not told anybody apart from the Patreon members yet. <coughs> And I'm really, really, really looking forward to it. Like, really looking forward to it. Um, so, I'm going to Cambodia. I'm going to Singapore. And one other place. Where will it be? Where will it be? I'll have a couple of guesses and see if anyone gets it. Um, see if anyone can get it. If you're a Patreon and you already know, don't spoil it. Just tell us. No! <laughs> you can guess. I'll tell you. If somebody guesses it, I'll tell you. Um, Moldova, no, it's not Moldova or Vietnam, although I'm very close to the Vietnam border. I'm not going to Norfolk because there's weirdos that live there called Lisa. Um, not Thailand, 
I'm very close to Thailand anyway, but no, it's not there. Not and Andorra, that's miles away. No, not, not Japan, not Russia. Um, why is the dust orbs moving if there's no draft? Don't know. Not France, not Malta. Nobody's got it yet, I'm surprised. Not Seychelles, not Korea, not Russia or Laos, not Malaysia or Korea, or Laos or Laos, um, not Bogner. <laughs> Or Korea. No, how has nobody got it yet? I'm going to Cambodia, but that's one of the part of the trip anyway. Not Portugal, not America. Um, or Land's End. Or Ukraine. Bloody hell, I thought somebody would have got it now. Um, come, I'm not going to bleed in Norfolk because I'll get attacked by Lisa. Not Dubai or Madagascar or Rome, because Rome's not a country. Um I'm going to Cambodia as part of the trip, but it's not that. Belize, not Australia. I considered coming to Australia, you know. I know Australians and people will be annoyed at me because I almost went. Let's have a look. No, Mongolia, not Vietnam, not North Korea, not, not Grek. Uh, not out of Mongolia, not Finland, not Belgium, not Pakistan, not Philippines. Why has nobody said it yet? Not Germany, not Thailand, not Kiwiville. <laughs> not Taiwan. Oh my God, I really expected someone to have got it by now. Not Congo, not Isle of Wight, not Sweden, not Jamaican. I'm not going to an actual Jamaican um, or Canada. Not Hong Kong, but you're not far off. Um, not Peru, not Brazil. Mary S has got it. I'm going to China for 10 hours. I'm going to Beijing. I'm flying and stopping off in Beijing for 10 hours. Um, I'm going to go and have a look round. Um, I'm really, 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 really looking forward to it. Um, I won't get a chance to go to the Great Wall of China because it's it's too far away. Um, that's a long way. For, no, I'm not just going to China for 10 hours. I'm on my way back. As I fly back, I stop off for 10 hours. I'm not bleeding bringing a mask. I don't need to. Um, one sec. Take cash to China. Oh, well, I might take dollars. I think I'm going to have to take dollars anyway because they take dollars in Cambodia over anything else. So, um, but yeah, I am really, really looking forward to it. Are you going to China for the ladies? No, I think if I was going, I don't mind a Chinese lady, but I don't know. Um, I was going to say China originally, but I figured I'd say Vietnam instead. Yeah, it's, um, it's only because it, it's, it was actually cheaper to get a flight from Cambodia via China to home with a 10-hour stop. And I thought, you know what? It's an extra country I've never, ever, ever been to. Um, so I, I, I'm always up for it. I can always go back to China if I've enjoyed it as well. So, um, but I'm not going to the... One sec. Uh, I'm not going to the Great Wall of China for two reasons. One, because it's a bit too far to fit in 10 hours to get there, get back, have a look round. And also, um, Freddie wants to go. So I said, I'll take him. Because he missed out on the Leaning Tower of Pisa, so I feel a bit bad. Um, one second. Uh, will you get a China flag tattoo? I will. I need to... I spoke to the guy that did all the ones before, and his missus hasn't been very well. And he said he's going to do them. He's just finding time to fit him in. Um, wicked. I've suddenly got blocked up. There we go. Um, pick up some tea in China. Um, one second. What is a social credit score? What are we talking about now, man? Um, my credit score is really good. My credit score, well, it's above average. Um, I'm happy to tell you what my credit score is. Um, I think the national average for the UK is 520. Uh, the national average for my area is about 510. And mine's about 780. So I'm, I'm fine. I'm all good. Um, one second. Uh, the McDonald's in China is amazing. See, I, if I'm only there for 10 hours, though, am I going to be eating McDonald's? I feel like McDonald's would be a weird choice. Uh, exploring Josh is there. Meet up with him. Well, yeah, but I'm going in May. I'm not going tomorrow. So I don't think he'll still be there. Um our credit rating in the UK puts us at the bottom tier. I don't know what that means. Uh, why are people still saying countries? 
Um, let's have a look. Uh, it's something to keep the uh, people in line only in China. Now, you, um, it's, I don't need a visa either to get in because it's like a, you can get a 16 hour pass or a 48 hour pass or something like that. So, uh, when are you meeting up with Exploring with Fighters? I was talking to him earlier on when I was in KFC, I was, he was messaging me, um, because he replied to a message that I sent to him about six weeks ago. Do we not eat chicken in Beijing? It's not chicken. I don't mind. I'll eat anything. You should know this by now. Um, <clears throat> have you heard of Nuke? Nuke's top five. Yes, I'm good friends with Nuke. He's a very nice bloke. Um, one second. Have you got a lift home from London Heathrow yet? No. I'm driving to London Heathrow, but I need to be able to park my car somewhere. Is it Heathrow or is it Gatwick? No, it is Heathrow, isn't it? I need to park my car somewhere and walk or something like that. I think if I park, is it, I want to say Staines or Slough. Is it Slough or Staines? Staines, maybe. I can walk from Staines. Um, don't the cook cats and dogs and children? Yeah, but it's, you're only there once. Uh, never mind China, come to Cumbria. I'm not really that far from Cumbria now, to be fair. It's not chicken, it's dog. As long as it's not got a, a name tag and I don't know, then we're okay. Um, Nuke is how I found you. Yeah, a lot of people found us on Nuke. Um, one sec. Yeah, Stains. I had a feeling it was. Um, I did... One sec. Um, I did a sponsored hitchhike years and years ago before i was doing the channel uh, i got a lift to birmingham and then i got a lift from birmingham into central london and i, cut, I got my wallet stolen in london uh, with all my money in my battery on my phone died um and i walked from hyde park to heathrow airport uh, which is a fucking long way Trust me, I was almost dead. I slept at the side of the M25 overnight. Uh, I was absolutely dead. Um, oh, okie dokes. Well, well uh, reason I left London, horrible place. Yeah, I got I got my wallet nicked. I, th I think I might have got that nicked somewhere near Staines, at McDonald's uh, near Staines. I'm sure I had it pinched there. Um, and I ended up going on a, I got a few coins and I rang my ex-wife at the time, uh, crying down the phone like, I can't get back. And I went to um, Heathrow Airport and they said, oh, um, go to one of the hotels. So I went to one of the hotels and there was coaches there and one of them was going to Barnsley. So I got a, a lift up to Barnsley and then my dad came and picked me up and took me back to Sheffield. So I was quite lucky really. And we went for a tour around London first. So... Um, oh yeah, St. Patrick's Day, is that this month? I think it is, isn't it? Uh, if you've not liked, by the way, just stick us a like on here for me. It's, um, it's looking like we're on 109, oh, we're on 200. Bang us a like on. Um, let's have a look. Found you on Casper site, yeah. Those two really, really helped the channel massively. Stain's massive, <laughs> yeah. Was that, um, Ali, I want to say Ali G, is it Ali G? Ali, yeah, Ali G, I've gone mad, I can't remember, um, I'd love to visit Scotland and Ireland and England, maybe Scotland and Ireland, <laughs> um, are you touring any more mansions, uh, hopefully, if I get some, if I find some, I've got £30 pickpocketed in London tube in the 90s, yeah, no, it's, it's not great, is it, it's not a nice feeling, um, let's have a look, yeah, drop. Yeah, you know where I am, man. So, uh, what else have I missed on here? Uh, yeah, Scotland is the best. It depends where you go in Scotland. Every country's got a shithole. Like every single country's got a shithole, and I've been to plenty in Scotland. Don't worry. Um, there's some, some not very nice places on the east coast there's some dodgy ones on the west there's some central but the further north you get the better it gets um there's orbs i can't see any i can't see any oh oh no that's my eye i keep seeing the reflection of the like the light in my eye 
behind the camera almost. Um, all the best people come from Scotland. I agree 100%. Uh, have I been to Argentina? No, I've never been to anywhere in the Americas. I've never done North America, South America. Um, I, I've not done any of that and I would like to. I want to do, I don't know if you've ever heard of Simon Wilson. I'm not a massive fan of him as a person, but I love his videos. I think he does some really, really good videos and he hangs around with a very dodgy person that I don't like. Um, but he did a video where he did, he went to seven, uh, all, is it seven continents? Seven continents in seven days. He went to all of them in seven days. And I would love to do that. He even went to Antarctica, which I would love to do. But I just think it would cost a fortune, an absolute arm and leg. He's a lot bigger. I watched Simon Wilson. Don't like, yes, exactly. I, I'm not talking about him because he's a, he's a bad man. He's I'm not getting into it, but he's a very bad man. Um, but yeah, Simon Wilson's good. He's just... He grates on me sometimes. I think his videos are amazing. I've had inspiration from him to make videos, but not not a fan. Um, went to London with my grandfather in the 80s, found 30 quid in a plastic bag. You found that 30 quid that that other guy lost. <laughs> That's what it is. Um, what crisps am I taking to Cambodia? I'm not taking any bloody crisps. Um yeah, he is, Lisa, he really is. Like, some of the stuff he's done. If you if you search him on the internet, um, not only is the stuff that you can find quite easily, there's more to it. Um, there is... I'm not going into it. It'll get me... I don't want to get myself in trouble. But he's not a very nice man. He's definitely not a very nice man. Um, hold on a sec. Too much and you don't get to see enough. I don't know what we're on about, Todd. I've missed something. Um, one sec. See, we did a competition when we were in Romania for someone to come with us on an explore, but it was before we were a limited company. Um, and it changes the rules quite a lot. Um, and the person that won the competition ended up falling pregnant and couldn't come with us. It wasn't either of mine or Andy's. Um, but they fell pregnant, so couldn't come on, on the trip which was a shame really however since becoming a limited company it becomes an absolute nightmare with insurances and things like that even if people like sign a waiver to say that they, they like they don't mind it still causes problems so it's just it's too easy to just not um one second I used to be a fan of his, but after when I've done further research, yes, exactly. Um, <laughs> fell pregnant. What was his name? <laughs> oh, um, let's have a look. Uh, 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 uh. How do you start an abandoned channel um, and find places? You set up a YouTube channel. You try not to call yourself something like exploring with and then your name. Um, and then you go and find abandoned places and there's lots of ways of finding them. I just need to pull my shorts up because they're sort of sneaking down my arse at the moment. There we go. And it's cold. Um, there's lots and lots and lots of ways of finding abandoned places. I can't give you the answers you want because if I do, then a lot of the places I go to will be trashed in five minutes because people will work out how to find them. But there is ways... It's just research and having a good network of people to talk to as well. I thought I could spell crack. Uh, what is your next brainstorming idea for the channel? I can give you one idea, but it's not something that's probably going to happen this month. It might happen this month. It could be next month. It might not happen at all. Um, it's all down to flights. But for the second channel, for Beeper Beef... Uh, which is the channel I'm just going to comment on now. Hi. Um, that channel, if you're not subscribed, make sure you are. I'm going to go and try and find the car, the £150 car in Marrakesh. I'm going to go and hunt it down. 
Uh, I'm gonna probably not try and contact the bloke that I gave it to. I'm just gonna try and find it on my own. And then if I can't after a certain amount of time, then I get to go and find him. Um, so yeah, I would hope it's becoming more frequent. That's weird. But yeah, I would love, I would love, love to go and go and find the car that we traveled to Marrakesh in. See if I can find it on a back street. Um, he was a creep that got the car. Oh, was he messaging? He was messaging everybody, wasn't he? And then he was messaging me and Andy, saying, "Can you please pay my insurance? Could you put some fuel in my car?" <laughs> it was like we've given you a car. Um, should have left an air tag in the car. I probably should have done. To be fair, um, they've been what? They've been fluent. Andy in denial. I don't know what that means. Uh, yeah, he messaged a lot of people. I just, I don't know. I think it was just, he liked having the connection to people over here. He seemed really nice. He's not sold the car. People have sent me photographs of the car over there. So the car is still somewhere. Oh, I saw something big go across then and there was no fly. Went straight across here like that. There was no fly, no dust. I'm directly staring at that bit there. And there was nothing that went in front of my eyes. That was weird. That was weird. Um, please someone tell me the light has just moved. Which light? I've not moved a light. The light's here. Over to this side. So you would see me reaching to the light if it had moved. It's definitely not moved. Um, hand is going through the door. I bet this is that the same person that's written? Oh no, it's Tammy this time. Um you want me to Hello? Is anybody there? If there's somebody there, smack your cock round my face. Open that door behind me. Whoa, what the fuck? <laughs> Something just dropped straight in front of the screen then. What the... F that was someone's cock. <laughs> oh, my God, that was weird. <laughs> what the fuck? That made me go funny. That, <laughs> that was genuinely weird because it was quite big in front of the screen just there like that as well. What the fuck? <laughs> He's waving his willy in front of the camera. <laughs> oh, my God, that was weird. Oh. That's made me go on. Bear, move, move. Why have you come and stood in front of me now? That was a big knob. What the fuck? Oh, do you want me to do... Or should I do it one more time? It'll spoil it, I think, if I do it again. But let's try. Hello? Is the lady of the house here? Let's see your knockers. Jiggle them for me. That noise was bare, by the way. Although he was bark like making almost like a barking noise. <laughs> oh dear. Um, um there is paint flakes falling from the ceiling. They're in, trust me. Cause it's like that weird um what's it called? Chip wood chip thing. So, spiritual ball bag, <laughs> it was huge. <laughs> Imagine, so boom, boom, boom. That would be weird. Right, what, how long have I been on? I'm not going to stay too much longer on, I don't think, because I would like to, but I've got an hour and a half drive home. It's 11 o'clock. So I'm going to be home by half 12 if I set off now. So we'll maybe give you another 15 minutes. Oh, thanks, Emma. Oh, wait. I just needed to fart. That were an absolute rubbish fart. Like, can you show Bear? Yeah. Um, I'll show you around. For people, there's people that have not been in, so I'll show you around again. I'll show you Bear. I have to go now. Bedtime up at 6 a.m. Oh, dear. Right. Oh, yeah, look. There's definitely no paint flaking off this ceiling. So, Bear Boy, what are you doing? What are you doing? I'm coming up. You're coming up. Go on then, up. 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 Where are you going? You're coming up. 
That did sound like a knock on the door then. Was that you, Bear? Was it your tail knocking on the thing? Go on then. What? Why is Lucy talking to Andy when Andy's gone? What are you doing, Bear? Go find it. Go find it. Find the ghost. Where's the ghost? Oh, thanks, Mary. Maybe a monster under the couch. Find it, Bear. Where is it? Why are you looking out of that window? Don't look out the window. Right, shall we go? Do you want to have a look? See, that's the fly. The fly is different. You can tell the fly is a fly. 100%. But the thing that has been going in front of the camera is not a fly. So, all right, wait a minute. Is that not a light, by the way? Is it the light on the roof? What? What are you talking about? I don't know what you mean. Got to go up for work at 5 a.m. night both. Oh, talking to Bear. I'm thinking, who else is here? Um, shall we have a look? Quickly round the other rooms. I don't know if we can really have a look at them because there's not very much to see. But do you want to see them while you're here? Because this is really the only good room in the whole place. So do you want to pop out with me and come and see? Um, let's have a look. Yes, please. Right, okay. Right. So I'll leave my bag in here and I'll come back for it in a minute. See, the door couldn't open because there's stuff stuck. But there's not very much to see. Now the internet may go off. Look, this is the toilet. I cut, I'm telling you now, I cut my leg on that last time. And I've cut it again. And there's some sort of paint, powder paint. Oh, there's some photos here, look. Little girl. What's this? Someone installing windows. Yeah, you can, yeah, look. Very sharp as well, that really sharp. And I know I, I'm pretty sure I did it last time. Right, let me show you in here. There's not a great a great deal in here either. And like I said, if the internet goes, I'm sorry. Look. There we go. And that's the way out in a minute. We've got to go out of. I don't know. Is that cocaine on the table? No, it's not. It is not. If any um, YouTube monetizing people are watching, it is definitely not. It's blue. So don't be demonetizing me. Um, right, this is a bit awkward. Oh, God. There's poo there. Bear, have you had a poo in here? It doesn't look very fresh, though. Oh, oh God. That's awkward. Here we go. Oh, we've got a nice made bed. And uh, this big wardrobe. <laughs> There's already too much crack on this channel. Yeah, smashed windows in here. I don't like it when the beds are made like that. It freaks me out a little bit. Did you sleep there tonight? No, and I'm not going to either. Um, Beth, nothing exciting. This is why I've not made a video out of it because it, I've already been here before and there's not enough to see. So, right there, we're going. We're going in a minute. Are we going soon, eh? Oh, I'm gonna, oh wait, in fact, shall we go and have a look up there? Oh, this is awkward. Wait a minute. I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. I've just got to lift the stairs up before I can actually get them up. Oh. Right. Bear, you're going to wait down here for me. <laughs> Have you timed him out, Lisa? Um, what made me go back there? Uh, I forgot I'd been. That's why I came back. Because I didn't actually know I'd been to this one. But I came here probably a couple of years ago with Andy. Oh, Lord. Right, there's nothing in that bit, but there is a load of stuff up here. Wait a minute. Oh, bloody hell, I almost fell straight back off those stairs then. Right, there we go. Oh. Oh. Bloody hell. 
There is a lot of stuff up here. I don't actually remember it up here. There's all sorts. Look. I don't remember this bit at all. Bear's not liking that he can't get up here. He stood at the bottom, I think. Bear boy. Bear boy. Any porn up there? No. There's not. But there is a singer. Look at the cobwebs in here. I sort of do remember it, actually. The singer sewing machine. Um, little driving license. I'll just check to make sure there's no address in it. One sec. I don't know if it's a photo one, to be fair. Yeah, there's an address in it, but there's no, there's no photo anyway. So I'm not sure you that. Um, yeah, I feel like me and Andy stood in here for a while and looked at stuff. But I also feel like a lot of the stuff in here has moved and gone. Look, letters. Maybe a body inside the carpet. Let's have a look. Uh, with all good wishes, yours sincerely, J.I.O. Mason. There's another page to that as well. Yeah, there's there's lots of bits of stuff. Like I said, nothing enough to make a a full video out of this now because I think a lot of the stuff's gone from when we came. But oh look, it's those boys again. Little tin there, that's good. There probably is enough to make a full video out of stuff here. To be fair, but I've already been here so. Mr. M.J. Peace Thought. Not like a man's bag, that. Looks like a woman's. A little boy in a boat. 24-hour um, live stream is something I would do for fundraising. However, I would have to have enough people talking to me. Oh, this is good. Wait a minute. I'd have to maintain... Look at that. That's good. That's really, really good. That's dead good, that. RAF. High Street Doncaster. That was taken. RAF stuff. That is really, really good. Yeah, I've thought about trying to get guests to turn up, but it's a lot of organising. I got... There's a girl... Just a minute. One of our subscribers, their daughter is an amazing, amazing... Um, musician and they wanted to come on it and it's just finding enough time and enough like getting it sorted so it would be awkward and also me and Andy were going to do it and take it in turns and it's not going to be particularly very easy on my own anyway I could look round up here for a while but Bear's downstairs by himself and normally I'd carry him up with me I do like that picture though that picture's really good and the old pipe in there as well. Um, yeah, so I don't want to leave Bear downstairs on his own too long. Because I can't carry him up on my own. I think I've cut my arm a minute ago. My arm suddenly feels wet. I think I might have cut it. You alright, Bear? You okay, boy? I'm coming down, don't worry. So... That's the same... Oh, the older bloke. Yes. I think you're right, actually. Right. Bear, you're going to catch. One, two, three. <laughs> um, do I have to unsubscribe to type? What? No, you only got timed out for like 300 seconds or something. Um, and also... It wasn't me that did it. <laughs> and if you... If Lisa is... Oh, bloody hell. If Lisa's done it, there's a reason she's done it. So I can't actually get down. I'm going to have to put this down a minute. Because I can't grab hold of it. It's too far down. Right, you're going to wait there for me a minute. If I disappear... 
Oh, bloody hell. Oh, God, the whole wall just moved then. Ah, oh, there we go. Yeah, I'm in charge. Yeah. Yeah, if I trust... This is why I've got moderators. For this reason. If people are naughty and say things they shouldn't, or if they become annoying or spam, they get, they get booted for a bit. So... Um, we can see up your shorts. No, you bloody can't. I don't... Hello, sausage. <laughs> don't be winding me up about things like that. Um, one sec. Uh, it's okay, you kept your jewels hidden. That's why I wear longer shorts. Very awesome, Ella. Uh, look at you. Oh, thanks, Jeff. Um, had a great view. To be fair, you'd see you'd see my balls. You wouldn't see much. <laughs> you wouldn't see much else. King prawn. Oh, don't, because I could eat a king prawn jar crazy now. You've said that. Um, if you fall and land on bear, there's gonna be a lot of people. <laughs> yeah. All right. Um, just give me a sec, because I don't know how far I've got to go down. Oh, my eyes looked pretty then. <laughs> right. Ooh. Yeah, we need to sort out, we need to sort out a fundraiser that everybody's going to enjoy and everybody's going to take part in. But I don't know how or, or what. I don't know what I'm going to do. But I'll think of something. But I haven't got long. That's the problem. I've not got long to think about it. So, do I wear makeup? No, do I fucking neck? No, I don't wear bloody makeup. Why would I wear makeup? Well... Nothing coming off this beautiful skin. <laughs> um, and say, what are you doing now, Bear? You want to come up? All right, you ready? One, two, three. Such a fat pudding. Were you scared? Because I'd gone upstairs and left you. I'd have left you. Oh, yeah, I don't know. Did you not like it? It's okay, I'm back. I'm back. Oh, I'd love to be part of your fundraiser. Well, we're not going to raffle you off. <laughs> oh, I've told you if we, um, if I hit a hundred thousand by November, which is not going to happen now, I don't think at all. Um, um, then I will be wearing full makeup in London. Oh, well, I'm going to be in London soon. Twenty sixth of. March. I'm gonna watch England against Belgium. So I will be I won't be wearing makeup for that though. He doesn't need makeup. <laughs> I don't think I've got pat apart from my nose, because I've got bloody fat blackheads. Um apart from that, I don't think I've got bad skin for a 44 year old. I don't think it's that bad. Could be worse. Um let's have a look. Oh god. Lisa's private messaging me now. What's she messaging me about? Uh, can we bid on a dinner day? Oh, yeah, but the only thing about that is, I, I would do that, but it'd have to be UK only. That's the only thing I feel bad on everybody. I feel really bad on the Americans. Um, no, you won't. All right, Lisa, no, you won't. Uh, Matt, can I have a wrench? What? You never know, you may get 100,000. You never know. I've pitched the, I'm not going to lie, I do this sometimes, I've pitched the story of the village in Italy to the newspapers. Fingers crossed that'll do well. If it goes in the newspapers, generally I get about five to 10,000 extra subscribers. So you never know. Um, but, yeah, but I feel bad on the, the Americans, the Australians, the Norwegians, the New Zealanders, the other people that watch, Canadians... I feel sorry for everybody. Oh, see you later. Are you off, gamer night? Thank you very much for your input. Um, but yeah, if you add up subscribers for all the channels, it doesn't count. It actually doesn't come to 100,000, I don't think. I think it comes to about 80,000 or something like that. Um, how about 24-hour marathon? Calling, exploring with fighters, ghosts. Because they're all bloody unreliable, man. <laughs> I try and pin them down for... I came up with a really good idea 
uh, to do with Joe and Elliot. And they were like, uh, and that were it. Never heard anything about it again. Um, I'm north of Detroit. That's I would like I said, wouldn't mind doing Detroit. Um, but yeah, I would do that. Would is that a good idea? Is going on a dinner date with it would have to be somebody in the UK. But would people be interested in that? Do you think? Do you really think they'd want to go on a dinner date with me? Because I don't think they would. I'd have to film it as well, and I don't know if anybody would want to be on film. So, I'll just let you know the door, I think I see something white. I think, oh no, not again. So, what about, do you want to kill me off, John? John Smith, you're going to, I'm going to be dead. Um, if I win you, I like vegetarian food. I just don't like vegetarian people. <laughs> I'm joking, I'm joking. I had loads of vegetarian food in um, in India. I absolutely loved it. So, have you, have you timed him out again? Oh, poor bloke. <laughs> He's only playing. Leave him. Um, could go on a dinner date via stream. Well, it's not really great though, is it? That like, It wouldn't be good viewing either. Like, if we were on the live stream to each other. That's the other thing as well. I don't like eating in front of people, really. But I'd do it. I would do it. Sod it. I might do that. Right, I'm going to put... After this vine video, this video has finished, I will put a poll on. So if you go to our community page on YouTube, so if you go on to our, our page and they go to the community tab... I'll put a poll on to see if people want me to do it. If I get a decent percentage yes, I will do it. But it's got to be that we hit a certain amount before I do it as well. Uh, shall I bring you a, a dead dress? I don't want a dead dress for our date. This is the other thing as well. I, oh, yeah, because it, would it be... I don't know how I'd do it. It'd have to be it'd have to be ticket. I couldn't do it where people bid. Cause I don't know how I'd do that. I can't stick myself on eBay. That won't work. I'm gonna have to think about it properly. Um I remember I do laugh at Flight Motley. People would say it all the time. Um Yeah, no, I would I would do it. I would film it. It would be good. Uh, is there nobody who can do it with you, Tokyo. If you I, I don't want anything to do with Tokyo, thank you very much. <laughs> I've never actually met Tokyo in person, even though she lives probably less than 10 miles from my house. I've never actually met her. Um, can I please say hi to Oh, Paulie Aaron. Hi, fiance Paulie Aaron. Hope you're okay, mate. Get better. Get better soon. I saw something else go up there then. Uh, yeah, get yourselves better, mate. I hope you're okay. Um, oh, look, other people in chat are saying, I hope he gets better soon as well. We've got a lovely, lovely community. Yeah, we're on, we've got 250 likes and 300 people in here. Can the 50 people that haven't put a like on, please do it. Uh, some serious dust floating about or orbs. Yeah, I know. Um, yeah, if you've not put a like on the video, let's try and get to 300 likes and then I'll feck off. Oh, one person's done it. Well done. Um, I don't believe you're 44. You look like 25. Shut up, Tave. Shut up. <laughs> yeah, because there's loads of... <laughs> there's absolutely loads of 25-year-olds going around with a big white beard. So... <laughs> the Americans would love Matt selling... <laughs> Then propose for a pretty penny. I might do. The thing is, I could always do. If I come to America, I could do an American version or Canada. I'd love to come to Canada. Um, I could do an American, uh, Canada and Canadian, <laughs> Canadian version. Do you have any younger pictures of you? Yes. You shouldn't start me off by asking me things like this. I've just farted. Um, you shouldn't be asking me things like this because I am bad for showing photos of me when I was young. I do it all the time, and people are like, that's not you, that's definitely not you, when I show them photos like this. <laughs> Look at the state of that. I am like a stick. Yes, Matt in his shorts. 
obviously, obviously. But yeah, look how thin I am. Look at look at that that pose. That was in India. That I was very, very, very stick thin. Or maybe this one. It's not in the sixties at all. That was taken in the nineties, I think. That one. Uh, wear them shorts next time I explore. I have still got them, but there's absolutely no way I would wear them. Um, now we've got a nice headshot of me looking like some sort of extra from a boy band. So, <laughs> oh dear, that is me. It's one hundred percent me. Um, do you want to see me with terrible long hair? There's one of me with terrible long hair. <laughs> God. Um, let's see what else we've got else on here. I want you to guess how old I am on this photo. Guess my age. I do seem like I've got one big arm and one small arm. But how old... 27, not quite, not 24. <laughs> Bearing in mind, I've got a moustache and a beard and I am 14 years old on that picture. I'm 14 years old. How mad is that, that I am 14? What else we got on here? Um, do, 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 do. Um, I don't think I've got any other ones, really. Oh, I've got two more ones of my head. I've got that one. Bear, bear, come here. Yeah, there's that one. And one more. Oh, this, this one, I am 23. And it was on my stag do when I was 23. <laughs> Look how dark my, I was like proper black hair then as well. So proper, proper black hair. I can see all those orb things now and there is nothing moving next to my face at all. Look, look at that one, look at that one. You see it? I'm not moving for that reason. Yeah, I was very drunk on that. Like ridiculously, ridiculously drunk on that picture. Um, it was in Ed I was in Edinburgh on my stag do. So, um, bloody hell, it's gone crazy now. Right, I am going in a second because I've been here quite. I've been on for one hundred and thirty-seven minutes so far. Um, you were well handsome at 23. Yeah, it all went downhill from there. Look at this big fat head now. Such a big fat head. Like, my head just seems to have got bigger. And also, my ears used to stick out like that. Now they've disappeared behind the massive head. So, almost got to 300 likes. I thought we would get 300, but there's a few people in here that just don't want to. Um. Anyway, uh, I bet all the girls chased you. To be fair... Not really, because I was married at 23. I had my own house at 23. Um, I was in a long-term relationship all the way through school, from year 7 to year 11. Um, and then I was with someone after that, right up until I was 22. So I've been in long-term relation long relationships my entire life, really. So that's why I've not really... Had loads of women after me. So, anyway. Um, definitely not loads of women after me now. There's no women after me now. Um, let's have a look. Um, <laughs> I'd invite you for a salad toss, but my salad has expired. That's quite worrying. I don't even want to know what that double entendre means. So, <laughs> I need to lose some... I, I, I actually do think I look better bigger not as thin as that but i do need to lose some weight seriously because i am probably the heaviest i've ever been so anyway <laughs> i think tammy's after you oh god oh god right i am going to go um applicants to be my wife feel free to uh, message me <laughs> i'm joke. i'm joking i'm joking before people start messaging me oh we've got 300 likes 
Thank you. What legends you are. Um, <laughs> shut up. You're making me blush now. But yeah, please don't start messaging me asking to be my, my number is. Oh my God, I'm going. I'm going. Right. Love you all. I'll see you soon. Thank you so much for popping in. It's been really, really good. And I'll